Oh, um, Hi. this is Caduceus. He also came with us to help out. Caduceus? Hello. Hi. We, we met him this morning. We <laughs> yeah. have. We've had an interesting 24 hours. I'm here to help. I made a deal with this one. It's okay. Oh, I like your hair. Yeah, Thank you. Very I chill. Like your hair Thank you. Yeah. Caduceus, I'm, I'm Ford. Ford, appreciate your help. You want to get up out of this thing? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Molly? Welcome. We're headed back down to Caleb. I said, do you need a hand? Oh, no, I'm fine. I got this. This is no problem. Oh. Yeah. Okay. If you find anything that looks good to eat, actually, just bring it back up. I'll cook it right up. That's that's no problem. From downstairs? You never know. It's a good. It's a it's a good basement. You could keep a lot of roots down there. It'd be very fresh. Roots. Potatoes, turnips, carrots. Roots. Yeah. Sure. Had a carrot before, right? right. Yeah. No, I've had a oh, carrot. Oh yeah, that's good. They're really good. Does he, do I smell anything in the kitchen? Nah, it smells like breakfast. Fuck it, I'll go back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Suck our blood. blood again. Mm-hmm. He makes dead people tea. It's very nice tea. He makes Thank you. what? He makes tea out of things that grow on corpses. Interest- makes cemetery tea. Interesting point, too. Some of the corpses you passed by in the middle of the arena <laughs> were starting to be overgrown with fungus. It's quite disgusting. You, you make dead people into tea. I mean, they're going to do it eventually anyway. I just sort of usher the process along a little bit. Sounds it's pretty shitty. Yeah. yeah, and good thing comes from shit, right? Like flowers? I'm going to have to make a little confession. I really haven't been many other places, so I suppose I don't really actually have a great basis of comparison. You didn't travel much? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. I haven't traveled much at all. Uh, he's been uh, living in a cemetery. L- living? Exclusively for a number of years. It is very beautiful. Thank you. Still yeah. a cemetery, though. Uh, can we ask this? I'm sure. You're, um. He's alive, right? He is. Okay. We ask the same so. question. Yeah. Very, very much so. Oh, yep. Yeah, no, the smell just. Kind of comes with it. Too, right? yeah, it's, it's a that little funky, kind of musk. Like musty yeah. as shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's strong at first, I but it, it, kind of, yes, know. but you get used to it, and it uh, it mellows the longer you're around it. Okay. <laughs> hey! That was well placed. <laughs> if it had to be anywhere. He's making fun of your name. Oh yeah, no, I've heard of it. <laughs> I mean, it's a well natured though. You of know. course. Do, you've yeah. heard it before. Did you have a lot of cemetery folks for that were good for like a good natured ribbon? I mean, you'd be amazed how people deal with uh, a grieving process. I mean, you're going through it right now. Yeah. What? Have you not thrown up yet? Is that part of? The, are you supposed to? Is that? You will. How's your face <laughs> feel? Normal face. Style, I suppose. Go like this, go. Can you feel it? Can you feel that? I can feel my lips doing He's that. He's pretty tall. He's, He's a big guy. Oh, yeah. wait. You can't properly be part of civilization until you have gotten shit faced and thrown up. Yeah. Ooh, you know what you're going to be good for when it's cold? Fucking hot toddies. <gasps> I've made a hot toddy before. I bet you make a great hot toddy. Addison yeah. did folks' feet. Oh, man. <laughs> Caduceus? Yes. How was your time? Yes. I've met a ghost that I didn't didn't want to need to punch. You, you have met a ghost yeah. you didn't want to punch. Yeah, I thought of one. Oh, what? <laughs> you, you, have you met more than one ghost before? I mean, yeah. Oh, um, you didn't get to see where we found this guy. Nope. It was um, definitely a cemetery. Like he was living in the middle of the cemetery. It's no, I'm good. You don't have to tell me anymore. Yeah. It's fine. I'll just yeah. imagine the worst oh, possible. in the middle of the cemetery. That's where the temple is, is in the middle of the cemetery. See? You don't. I don't. Are you talking about having, making a, having a trip? Taking off? Well, <clears throat> I was thinking about it. I, I, I journeyed a little further south. I'm actually looking for 
some morning. I, I've been meaning to head back that way anyway. If, uh, if this is taking us in that direction, if it'll teach us anything more about the, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not having visions right now, so I'm happy to follow another one. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Uh, thanks, yeah. Caduceus. Does he say stuff like that a lot? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Has everybody uh, um, focused on that thing now? I have. I have. I have. <laughs> have you? I, I should do that at some point. Oh. She <laughs> probably <laughs> experienced this. It's interesting. <laughs> you can't look at it, though, today. Why not? Can't because he tomorrow. already has it. Tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I ask permission to any any animal I interact with, anything I eat, I'm, it's you, always a conversation. You ask permission to ride the horse? Yeah, I say we're gonna be, well, I explain to the horse that we're gonna be moving south and I'd really appreciate their cooperation in the process and kind of how how long we expect to be going for. Out, out loud you do this? Yeah. Oh, I'm just checking, I didn't know if you had some mumbo jumbo. I mean, can you do it without, I mean, how do you, can you talk without talking? Is that a thing you can do? I don't think so. <laughs> Remember talking? I can hear you, but your lips aren't moving. No. It, this is, mm, nope, nope, it's not working for me. <laughs> mm, nope. We'll give you uh, a little lessons in economics as we travel, you know, just for fucking future parlay situations. Well, I mean, what's the point of having gold if you're not using it for something? I mean, yeah. otherwise it's just something that's making it heavier to walk. There's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. <laughs> Sounds odd, but all right. Yeah, we'll get into it. We got time. Mr. Ford, uh, what, do, what do you think of that? Uh, to be honest with you, Caduceus, that was uh, not here the last time I was here. You recognize those uniforms? They're the Righteous Brand. Righteous brand yeah, mm -hmm. the Righteous Brand. I, uh, I remember maybe a tenth of that. I assume border tensions are pretty high. Are we okay with these people, or should we? Uh, I think we should be fine. I mean, after all, we're we're leaving. We're not entering. Fair. Oh, I mean, as close as you want to be. I mean, if you want to put your feet oh. in, it's an amazing experience. But oh, okay. I definitely want to do that. That yeah. sounds great. Yeah. So it's colder than you might think. I don't have any expectations, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. From where we time you were kind of in your own space. We didn't really get to explain. You were the last to wake up of the three of us, and by the time you came around, we had met Mr. Clay. He apparently worked in a graveyard, cemetery. Yeah, I get it right. Crucial uh, in, in us getting the three of you out. No, That's a natural 20? <gasps> uh, I'm gonna undo that. Because oh, you have a reaction that can do oh. that. That's right. Yeah, that and I, uh, what's that power to tell? Um, I'm trying to find it again. Uh, this is a, it's, a, it's an ability of the Grave Cleric. All right, so it's just a regular attack there. Uh, that's going to be. That's amazing. In any of this right now. Any yeah. chance yep. you want to come up and help me? And I pull like a big piece of splintered wood out of my forehead and <laughs> throw it over the side. In, in time, I'm good. Uh, uh, I'll help you out. Thanks. <clears throat> yep, yeah, Yasha, can I? Hey, how you doing? I think I'm embracing the chaos. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good way to deal. Do you have a plan? A plan? No. I have a series of um, expectations but I wouldn't call it a plan. I don't get it, but okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm in pursuit of something, and I know what maybe the next couple of steps are, but past that. That's an answer, that'll do. Yeah, yesterday was, uh, oh God, what's the word? How heavy. Heavy, heavy's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I take it you haven't seen much combat or? Well, I mean, I've fought animals, a few bandits, a yeah, few. You fought a giant water genie? No, no, that's, that was a, that was a, that was a first. Yep, never even seen one before. Uh, 
Is is life always this directionless? Uh... Yeah. Well, it, yeah, my new life, pretty much. Yeah, okay. it's just kind of open. Uh, one with the hair, I think. Uh, I think she's gonna take off again. Yasha. Yeah. What makes you say that? Uh, you know how it is. Some uh, some rocks just don't sit right. Yeah. Can you do you naturally have the ability to just like feel that out of people? I I mean Yeah. It's very insightful. Well my job for most of my life was to talk to people. Well, it wasn't to talk to people, it was to listen to people. I've listened to a lot of people. Your job. Yeah. I mean it's a it's a, it's a graveyard. We, uh, people come and they talk a lot, and... When they're grieving. Yeah, and you listen a lot, and... I don't know much, but I know people, and I know things that aren't people. There's a lot more, apparently, and, uh... You seem to pick up on the stuff that's not said? I mean, you, you have to. Uh... I like that you're looking for something. Cornelius, what say you in this highly delicate matter? I don't know. I've, I've got some very specific uh, burial needs if we're actually going to go that way. That I... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm kind of un unhappy with everything at the moment. I would really like to negotiate just some base base points of this of this deal. She has it. There's very little reason to keep us around. Right. Caduceus. Oh uh, yeah. Would you mind telling me? Did you feel anything coming from the captain? Like like what? I don't really. Like. <laughs> well, I don't know. You. You just seem to make these strange comments about how people feel and stuff. I thought maybe you were like a mind reader. I was really kind of just listening for that word because I wanted to play the, the speak along game. Yeah. I wasn't really yeah. paying that much attention. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I got a little distracted in there. I was. I was really. That was. Yeah, fun, it was though. a fun. It yeah. was a fun game. Yep, it was. Let's pay attention next time, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Make a medicine check. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to politely ask the, the local greenery and let them know that we're going to be coming through and that yeah. we're going to try not to disturb them so long as nothing disturbs us. And okay. Did you cast past without a trace you, on it? Yes, I did. Loud? Yeah, I have to. The local greenery? Yeah, well, I mean, i got to talk to a couple trees and let them know that we're coming through. And deeper into this. Caduceus, can I ask you, what do you, uh, what do you hear when you converse? I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. If you want to hear it, you, you have to listen for it. Hear that? You hear that? No. no. Uh, what are you hearing then? N nothing. Uh, exactly. Yeah, that's good. All right. They're not saying anything. Oh. <laughs> not, I mean, at some point when I Please can get, get, get <laughs> I can get to get to Ford quietly at some point. All right. Crawl up to Ford in the in the line at some point. Okay. Uh, been keeping my eye out, uh, getting a lay of the land, uh, and uh, uh, Jamedi um, is not quite alive. I'm sorry, did you say not quite? She's up alive. It's not quite alive. <laughs> just keep that. I don't think it's an appropriate moment to bring something like that up, but it's worth it. Do, do you detect anything sinister? Uh, yeah, it's not quite alive. I mean, that's right. Yeah, sinister. Right, yeah, that's inherent. Hands. Sure, my, my right. Stupid anything, question. I feel like I'm, I'm exercising an enormous amount of willpower just not dealing with I mean, it just doesn't seem like we're in 
there's a good advantage to dealing with this now, but uh, yeah, there's something weird there. Thank you for letting me know. I hope you'll keep an eye on him for us. Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on him for you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The smoke, no one will be able to see. Molly, Kite Caduceus, fuck, Vosh. Oh. Wow. Um, Sorry, it happens all hurts. the time. That hurts. Do you have yeah, something? Yeah, I'm just crying now. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for this. Uh, I'm gonna try and, oh god. Give me a boost. Yeah, you're tall. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm actually weak. Somebody stronger should probably get me a boost. I'm gonna scurry up, I'm scurry up, cast Mr. Clay. Enlarge on Caduceus oh. so he's twice his size. Oh. Hi. Mighty Caduceus. <laughs> I'm tall now. Yes. I'm very tall. I might be taller than the whole. Uh, you're you're tall enough to the point where uh, I'd say because it's it's double the size, double right? Size, yeah. so you're 14 feet. You're not tall enough for the whole chamber, but you're well, tall enough to push people through. I'm yeah. pushing people through. All right, okay. so alley-ooping one after the other. You go ahead and grab each person oh. and kind of lift them up, like a like a little booster. And Caduceus, you're too big to get up. Yeah, uh, 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 Caduceus, hold Ford's hand. Ford, hold his hand. You got it? Yep. yep. I cast uh, reduce, and now he's half his size. Oh, all right. <laughs> now, Caduceus, I, I know your experiences with water have been less than thrilling. On day vu. I'm gonna go to. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't all know right. about the, the rest of you. I'm gonna pat him on the shoulder and, and just, just for fun, cast protection from poison. Ooh, you got an hour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Caduceus. Hell no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you a fan of water before your life is done. I swear. Um, I don't uh, mind it. I, I think I just have a, an issue with the things that are in it, and being under it. And I'm gonna go to sleep and probably, yeah, that's, yeah, throw up a light. Um, you carefully and quietly tiptoe your way through the hallway to your assigned quarters, of which you are sharing with whom? Caduceus. Caduceus. Uh, Caduceus, one eye suddenly opens as you are, you are keen to be somewhat aware of living alone mm. out in the middle of a dangerous wood to any sort of aberrant noise in the vicinity. You hear the faint creak of very gentle footsteps as Ford makes his way into your chambers. Can I figure out what happened just by looking at him? You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well with your bad decisions. <clears throat> I what are you? A bosun. Oh, well, I had that completely fucking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I take real good notes. Uh, <clears throat> what say you on such a dangerous uh, expedition as this? May I? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, so of course. I'm going to take a look at this thing. Mm -hmm. Perception check. <laughs> Obviously, the decision is yours, but we are low on supplies, which means we have more to lose. If something goes wrong, we lose vital members of our crew or burn through magic ability. We are going to be without food, whereas I'm sure they're probably very well stocked and prepared for uh, these sorts of eventualities. Uh, I feel like we would be coming in from a place of weakness. That's my initial thought. Are you coming down under? Yeah, I probably am getting down. Oh. All right, Ken, will you yeah. go get not? <laughs> Actually, uh, while you're here. Whoa, would wow, you, yeah. someone did a number on you. Sorry, would you mind um, helping this fellow out and just giving him a little uh, little love? Well, I might do both of you for a big pie. That's nice. Pleasure to meet you. I, I get the feeling you're having a really bad day. Uh, oh, jeez, I'll go get not. I'm gonna just uh, do a little healing spell down here, so everyone's feeling a little better. I'm gonna st I'm gonna start doing a, a, a little. Um, where am I doing? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little healing on both of you. So take take a few minutes while you guys figure this out. Thank you. <laughs> All right. For my signal. Fourteen points up for you. Thank you. Fourteen points up for him. Okay. I think. If you really want to find the ship, I think I might be able to help. With the seducing? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I mean, no. 
Definitely not. I mean, Caduceus, if you want to teach me a thing or two about wooing a woman. Yeah, no, I, I, I really don't mm. think I, I, I have anything to add to that. I think you've been doing just fine. Yes to what you said, and yes to what you said. I think I might be able to help you find the ship. That's what and I you meant. want me to help seduce Avantika? You just do you, girl. All right. All right. I don't understand what any of this is anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think that'll be very valuable when the time comes. <clears throat> I thought. Mm. Take a lot of salt to be worth something. Sure. I mean, you can just get it right out of the water. <laughs> yeah, it's a fairly benign saying. Don't don't get too lost in it. Everything's worth its salt at that point. Really, it's just it's a terrible oh, currency. Shit. Just was okay. just curious. Did he drink a lot. I was wondering I, how empty that cup is. Has anyone know? Has anyone been watching me drink? I was going to ask. I've been nursing the same cup the entire time and have been fake sipping it the entire night. I haven't had a. I haven't actually had a. a, a and you've drop. had an, an ale or whatever everybody else is drinking. Whatever they handed me. I, uh, I've been forward. doing this, to be fair, the entire time we've been together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's Bruce Wayne. He's Caduceus Wayne. Caduceus Wayne. Yeah. Caduceus Wayne. What makes Caduceus you say? Wayne. What makes you say Caduceus that? Caduceus Wayne. Nice. Uh, or uh, bouncer like, <laughs> and just trying to trying to get my bearings, take a look around, see what the vibe of this place is. I'll okay. come join him out front. And then I'll put my hand on Caduceus's shoulder. How you doing? Oh, I think I'm doing all right. I'm uh, just uh, contemplating where we're going from here. You seem a little more uh, at ease, and I'll just lean in a little bit. I am a little more at ease. <laughs> you, uh, you do much drinking in there? Uh, I'm not really getting the, you know, fumes on your breath. I've only, I've only gotten drunk once in my life. Really? And that was because of not. Is there, a, is there a reason for that? Uh, I thought I tried, didn't agree with me. What happens when you, uh, when you drink? Everything hurts, and it's uh, violently offensive to the body on every level. It's just, uh, that stuff's disgusting. Just awful. But you had stuff in your cup, right? You don't have to fake it, you just. Well, uh, it feels polite, and not everybody's as understanding as your friends, you know. Right. And so I just sit in the corner and I listen to everything that I can for as long as I can, and uh, I get, got a little noisy in there, and thought I'd get a little air. Anything popping up on that special radar of yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this place is dangerous. She's dangerous. Yeah, that she is. Should we grab the others and go explore for a bit? I think that's a good idea. And uh, Ford, you you know why everybody is doing this, why we're all here, right? Yeah, I mean, I think. I think you know, I, I just wanted to point it out because uh, that woman, she doesn't care what any of us want. I'm sure she'd be interested, but it's way low on her priorities and I don't trust anybody who puts other people's needs that low on the list. And you should keep in mind of that while you're getting in bed with them, so to speak. Uh, is anybody out here in earshot? Just no. a quick Outside look around. Outside of the moment, no. Nope. Yeah, listen, um, about, about that. I, Let's just keep it right between the amigos, all right? Just. Because what part of the body is the amigo? No, it? that's that's <laughs> us, right? One amigo, two amigo, you and I are All right, yeah. amigos. <laughs> okay, right? and it'll be like our thing, like it's you know, like we're bunkies. We share like amigos. I, we share amigos. Yeah. No, we're not going to share amigos. We are the amigos. Oh, well, that's okay, right. That's Sharing better. amigos is a whole other. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I I think I get it, but uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to talk out of turn, and I'm, I, I trust your intentions. So, well, actually, that's what kind of wanted wanted to talk to you about. You're real good at picking up on little things, yeah. You're asking if I can tell that you're conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's pretty clear. You'd be amazed, but all right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just letting you know I'm trying to keep her close. I feel like this whole thing is just getting a little out of sorts, and the best way to maybe keep a small finger on the, the pulse of things is just to 
Sure. <laughs> I'm so glad you put it that way. Uh, just uh, you're a, you're a good man, Ford. So uh, just be careful, because I imagine it's a little out of character being honest and truthful with somebody in a deceptive way. You can muddle a good man up, whereas it doesn't muddle a bad man up. Yeah, haven't been very good at it so far. That's one of the reasons why I like you. Thank you. Here for you, man. All right. I'm learning to swim. Where the, yeah, <laughs> more of that to come. Where's the rest of these chuckle fucks? <clears throat> Here's the thing. Caduceus is really perceptive. The two clerics are not going on the mission together. I can break it. I like look down the stairs. Can I see Caduceus down there? Uh, you, if you pass by Boulder Gut and you look down, yeah, Caduceus is down there. It's actually in like a healthy conversation with one of the members of the group. Talking to the, yeah, we're, we're, we're bonding, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These guys, are, these guys are pretty okay once you get to know them there. Yeah, I'll, I'll come down and uh, a drink. A round is brought to you. A weird night. Hey, Ducey, how we doing? Well, everything's not quiet on this end. Uh, one of our one of our kids apparently got stabbed by. Well, one of the crew stabbed the other crew. Uh, I can't imagine why that happened. And uh, there's been no word, but I assume it's just probably pandemonium all over. Oh, good report. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's okay. pretty happy, though. We should come down and have a drink with everybody. Yeah, I'll just hold my cup and wait for something to happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, since you end up and carve that it, or yeah, it's gonna try that. That's a natural twenty. Uh, I'm uh, minus D. Well, it doesn't matter because the worst they can still only bring it down to eighteen, right? Uh, it's just not a critical hit. Uh, what? Your ability you're talking about? No, I'm saying that with the D4, it wouldn't bring that fight, that attack down at all, would it? Enough to I mean, it would, it, would, uh, it would still be, it would still be a critical hit for sure. natural 20, but it would be then be a total of a, uh, it would be a 22 still. Well, I'm, ca I'm canceling the critical anyway. Okay, so, so, you, so you, use, you use Channel Divinity once to cancel the critical on that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's, As the harpoon comes towards you, uh, there's like a slight, boof, this kind of slight dull green barrier that seems to slow the penetration of the immediate lightning fast pace of this harpoon, and it just manages to carve into the front of your armor and pierce through no. ever so slightly. Um, so it's not a critical hit, unfortunately. No. Nope. Um, oh, that's, uh, that's uh, 11 points of piercing damage to you. Love. And it just kind of, after it, it carves through and wounds you, it pushes through the other way, and you just kind of manage to roll off. Wouldn't far worse damage if Caduceus hadn't helped you in that moment. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to attempt to move away. This is concentration. So I'm casting Bless on myself, uh, on Caleb, and on Ford. All right, so you guys could add a d4 to your attack rolls and saving throws. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm good. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be waiting for you upstairs. Yeah, fair enough. If anything starts to go wrong, we'll, we'll try and get to you. If you are encumbered, we'll try and clear a path. And once you're up with us, I'll bring everybody to the surface. Yeah. If you hear the signal, take off. You remember the signal, right? No. Oh, man. I feel like, I feel like that signal happens a lot, yeah. though. That's a, <laughs> it's a common signal. I mean, we hear yeah. it a lot. Yeah. I, I didn't see anything. Nothing. Vandering. It's like his mentor. So I don't really kind of run out of leads there. I don't really know where that leaves me on that, but we've spent enough time on on me and I. Some incense, and I'm gonna pull out a piece of that weird fruit that I've been slowly growing some mushrooms on, getting a little weird. <laughs> Eat a little bit of it. I'm gonna meditate. And then I'm going to um, cast. Yeah, let's just cast divination. Yeah, so fluffy little clouds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, uh, just a light happy divination. Happy little scrap. Divination. <laughs> happy little scrap. I don't know what. And I'm going to feel out into the universe, and I'm going to wait for whatever sign, whether it be verbal or or otherwise, or. 
wonder what Vandren's doing right now. What? 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 The warm, soft, comforting a voice like a breeze kind of drifts past your ears as the hot wind unexpectedly through a cold night kind of drifts past your shoulders. Staying out of sight. Making amends. That's all. That'll do. Entry. Ah, I head back down. What the fuck? Leave it to the hell to trip you out with shit you didn't know about. Need <laughs> <laughs> any help? Do you do? What are you gonna make something? I I'm pull out the broken sword hilt that <gasps> I have. Oh yeah, that. Ah. Uh, I'd love to see about getting this fixed, maybe, uh, and as a token of appreciation for Mr. Ford for doing such a good job uh, taking care of himself on his own quest and not getting sidelined into some some bad thoughts. That is very thoughtful of you. Thank you. I also don't know how to find a blacksmith. So oh, anybody. I think I <laughs> I'll save that paper. Caleb will want it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ducey, did yeah. this happen? Yep. Really? Really? And you just knocked and a door to, door appeared. Yep. Sorry, it shouldn't have come out of my mouth. It's inherently untrustworthy. Waiting for a hater on a, on a, on a fast one, I yeah. want to take a moment on the first night also just to let Ford know that uh, uh, I just want to let you know that while we're on the sea, I, I had a talk with my god. And, uh, that friend of yours is still out there. Friend of mine? Yeah, that old friend of yours that you haven't seen in a while. What's his name? Uh, Vander? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. How yeah. do you how do you know that? I I I asked the wild mother. And is this the same as Jester talking to the traveler? You hear from the wild mother? I I feel like I would be speaking to things I didn't necessarily know about. I don't, I don't entirely know the Traveler, nor entirely understand what the Traveler is, but I know the Wild Mother. And you asked about him for me? Yeah. Uh, making amends, whatever that means. He was making amends. One way or another. Thank you. It's a... Uh, it's a very particular a flavor of goodness that come from those who were offered so much temptation. I have some faith in you. <clears throat> Back to the horses. <laughs>